Hello guys, welcome back. A very good morning from Dr. Ranjit again. So today we have one more challenge, the day three challenge. Hopefully we're going strong with the challenges. And yesterday I had a question related with BRCA syndromes. I was glad to see the responses. Though it dipped a little bit, I'm sure it might be on the difficult side. I, I want you to keep up the momentum. Whenever you know, do comment below. If, even if you know a part of the answer, also do comment. So the answer to yesterday's questions, the commonest biopsy finding, histological type of cancer, in breast related with BRCA syndrome is going to be medullary carcinoma and most of the BRCA associated cancer will be ER, PR and HER2 negative, tri triple negative breast cancer. The second part of the question was the peritoneal deposit biopsy. I was very glad that many of you identified the samoma body, right? So it was an invasive implant of an uh, ovarian serous cystadenocarcinoma that is also commonly seen in BRCA syndrome associated cancers, right? So those were the uh, yesterday's answers. And let's go ahead with today's uh, problem. It's written there right away, Lynn syndrome or not, right? So I'm going to show you a biopsy. This is a biopsy of a 50-year-old person who came with altered bowel habits, colonoscopy was put up, and there's a mass there from which a biopsy was taken. So you look at this biopsy, you can definitely say these areas, it's definitely looking like a stromal tissue, right? So it's definitely these glands are invading. It's definitely not epithelium. So here my diagnosis of colonic adenocarcinoma is straightforward, right? So one clue, I'll, I'm just going to circle something. I want you to see on them and comment whatever comes to your mind. See, if I'm going to look at this particular area, okay, this particular area and here somewhere, can you see the tiny, 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 small round blue cells? Those are your lymphocytes. See, when you see lymphocytes in a colonic cancer, obviously the next step, this image, this case also had lots of lymphoid areas, but here the invasion was better, so I took this finding, right? Whenever you see lymphocytes in the microscopy, I have to evaluate for my microsatellite instability. That is the golden rule, right? So next, we did the microsatellite instability markers via IHC for this patient. We did MSH, MLH, all of them, right? And this is how most of the, most of the images were. I want you to comment first whether it's positive or negative. That's the first question of today's, okay? If it is positive, what do we interpret? How do I interpret? How do I analyze that? And if it is negative, how do I analyze that? I'll tell you in a while, fine? In general, when I say it's a positive finding, like let's say in, uh, we had an ER positive. So positive color, I'm gonna say it's positive, right? Generally, we, it goes like that, IHC positive, diagnosis. But here, when I say MSH or MLH is positive, those are mismatch repair gene products, right? So am I right in saying that for you and for me, mismatch repair gene is perfect, so the product should be positive, right? Absolutely yes. So when IHC is positive, I'm gonna consider it a completely normal person. For every normal human being, the mismatch repair gene products will be positive. So when I say microsatellite instability, or the hereditary component of that Lynch syndrome, the IHC should be negative very very careful so here negative marker has more valuable right when it's negative i'm going to say this person is having a microsatellite instability and probably a Lynch syndrome fine this is how we interpret your mhc mlh msh msh markers very careful it's a reverse fine so we'll go back to the today's questions we have come to the end of the discussion today's question the first question i asked you how do you interpret the previous ihc tell me whether it's positive or negative and if it is positive Based on this, you're going to comment whether it's normal or a patient with microsatellite instability. That's my first question. Second, there are two criteria for your Lynch syndrome diagnosis. One is your uh, clinical criteria, one my microscopic criteria. Just name the criteria. I don't want anything else. Just name the criteria. That should be more than enough. And do tell me, apart from colonic cancer, do you know any other cancers in the body which is very commonly associated with Lynch syndrome? That was an MCQ herself. Fine. Okay, I'm expecting your comments. Comment even if you know one part of it, do comment below and let's discuss the answers tomorrow in the along with the next day, tomorrow's challenge. Till then, bye-bye from Dr. Ranjit. Bye-bye.